Well, hello everyone and welcome to the Econobox Garage for episode 68 in our bug eye build. In this episode, I'll be working on the front brake calipers, uh, taking them apart, giving them a good clean, and putting them back together again. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoy this week's video. Well, the focus on this episode is going to be rebuilding the brake calipers. When I got them, they had already been split uh, to remove the pistons so that they could be checked. And they are in good shape. I have new seals, new bleed screws, uh, new retainer springs for the pads, and new seals to go between the two halves of the caliper, new brake pads, and new cotter pins. So first up, I'm going to take the calipers right apart, remove the old seals, and then give everything a really good clean. So here are the two halves of the brake caliper. Uh, you can see there's a seal here. Uh, which is uh, this one here that's going to be replaced. And that those ports there allow brake fluid to go from this side of the caliper through a passage and then into this one here and then behind the piston that goes inside this spot here. The way these disc brakes are set up is the caliper is actually fixed and there's a piston on each side that clamps the pads onto the disc. I'm going to remove the seals on each side, then I'll get over to the parts cleaner and give these a really good clean. Here are the two halves of the brake calipers all cleaned up, and here are the replacement seals. Now there are two types of seal here. You can, can see in that one it's got kind of a groove in it. That's one of them. And this one does not have a groove in it. And then this is where it comes in handy that I haven't taken the seals out of the other caliper. If you it's kind of hard to see because this is a little bit dirtier. But if you notice the top seal here has got a groove in it. And this is actually a dust seal, and then the one below it is the uh, solid seal. So that's more of the fluid seal. And then also, it's hard to tell on the uh, this one here because I haven't cleaned it up yet. The metal ring here goes in, and that retains that dust seal into place. So when you're replacing these seals, make sure that you get the right one in the right slot. So this one goes in the bottom, or the, yeah, it goes in the bottom slot, and the other one goes in this top with the metal ring around it to keep out the seal. So, so the kit from Moss comes complete with all the seals uh, for both calipers, both of the re all, all of the retainers for both calipers, and some lube. So I'll use this lube now and install all those seals in their appropriate slots in the calipers. Well, I have the dust seal and the fluid seal in place in both sides of the caliper. Next up is to install the pistons. Now these are the ones that came out of these calipers. And this first pair is in really good shape, so I'm able to reuse them. I'm going to make sure that there's no nicks or cuts 
um, and what have you on that. So I'll just give those a wipe down. And these ones are totally serviceable. That's the other one. So I'll just get them a good clean, put some of the moss supplied lube on there, and then fit them into the calipers. Well, there we have both pistons in, all the seals in, and I have the new seal in the uh, mating surface here. So next up, I'm just gonna bolt these back together, and then we'll put the brake pads in. All right, so there we have the caliper cleaned up, clamped back together. The new pads are in place, as is the spring, the retaining spring, and the two cotter pins that go through and uh, clamp everything together. So I'll just repeat this process uh, for the other caliper and get things bolted up to the steering knuckles, and then we can get things uh, put on the car. Seeing as they had a mismatch on the calipers, I decided to paint them. So I've already masked this one here. So I've just used the same method to make the to mask this off as I did when I painted the engine. And another trick I learned from a friend is if you have holes to fill that you don't want paint in, uh, just use some earplugs. Now I've had a box of these things laying around for quite some time, uh, so they're quite handy. So I'll put it in those holes there. And it even works in the threaded holes. I like so that one there. Uh, this one here. I haven't masked this one off yet. So I'm using the VHT high temperature caliper paint. I've chosen the cast aluminum to keep it nice and simple. So there we have one of the brake calipers repainted and all put back together. And all I have to do now is repeat the process with the other side and get them bolted up onto the steering knuckles. But that's all I have time for for this episode. If you've enjoyed the video, please share it with your friends. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you'll get notified when the next videos come out. My name is Ian. This is the Econobox Garage. We'll see you next time. <laughs>